don't let your old living room furniture go to waste. Give it a new lease on life and transform it into a high-end piece that'll make your living room look amazing. These 10 projects will guide you through the process and show you how to save money while customizing your furniture to your exact needs. You'll love the end result. In the next video, we're going to discuss 10 living room furniture transformation ideas. Following the previous countdown, Simphome presents you with the list. Number 10. How to create a chic credenza from IKEA Kallax? Transform your living room with a chic sideboard using the IKEA Kallax bookcase and some plywood. Start by measuring and cutting the plywood to match the bookcase's dimensions. It will serve as the doors and back of the sideboard. Cut the trim and install it on the first plywood sheet at a 45 degree angle. Sand and prime the bookcase, back, doors, and bun feet. And paint in a stylish color such as green by Sherwin-Williams Pooter. Assemble the pieces to form a sleek unit with the back attached with nails and the doors secured with hinges. Finish it off with some oversized gold pulls for the sideboard doors. Number 9. The IKEA Shelving Unit to TV Stand Project Turn your IKEA Expedit bookcase into a TV stand with shelves by adding some birch plywood and pine legs. Start by cutting the birch plywood to size and covering the bookcase's top, bottom, and sides. Give it a rich, textured feel by coating it with polyurethane. Then create a rectangular base using four pine boards, each measuring 2.5 inches. Attach legs to the base, paint them white to match the bookcase, and use liquid nails and screws to assemble the bookcase and base. Finally, clamp the birch plywood to the interior of the shelving unit and let it dry for a few hours. Now you've got a stylish shelving unit with a TV stand perfect for storing all your living room essentials. Number 8. A Factory Cart Coffee Table Project Idea Transform your boring coffee table into an industrial chic masterpiece. You just need 12-inch cast iron wheels, 5-inch wide, 6-inch tall casters, and some decking wood. Start by figuring out the size of the wheels and casters to determine the size of your coffee table. Create a 6-inch wide wooden box frame to match the hardware. Spray paint the wheels and hardware black and assemble the frame with four pieces of lumber. Add horizontal supports with two more boards and secure them with nails and L brackets. Then overlap eight planks vertically with the supports and add two bolts per board. Install the axle, place the cast iron wheels in the middle, and finish with casters on the right and left sides. Your unique coffee table is now complete. Number 7. Creative Touches to Renew Your Tired Side Table Refresh your old side table into a fresh one with a few simple steps. First, give it a prime coat with spray paint, then give it a clean look with two coats of white spray paint. Cut some reclaimed wood to fit your side table size, scrub it, and let it dry. Arrange the wood pieces on top of the table and attach them with Gorilla Glue. Trim the sides to even them out if necessary. Finish it off with three layers of semi-gloss sealer for a glossy look. Number 6. How to turn a bookcase into decorative lockers for the living room. Give your IKEA Expedit bookcase a new look by adding doors to hide the clutter. Cut 16 pieces of 13-inch by 13-inch squares from a 4-foot by 4-foot 5mm underlayment. Give the squares a coat of stain and two layers of white paint. Then add a layer of water-based poly to protect the paint. Make templates for the door pulls, drill a hole, then attach the pulls using glue. Install hinges and attach the doors to the bookcase. Finally, add an aluminum number on the center of each door and label it for easy organization. Number 5. How to turn an old kitchen table into a stylish ottoman. Transform your old kitchen table into a cozy tufted ottoman. To start, divide the tabletop into sections based on width, drilling holes where you want to add buttons. Add 2x4s around the sides to wrap the fabric and hot glue foam on top. Cover with batting and fabric, sewing buttons in place. 
pull the fabric to wrap it around the sides and button, stapling it in place. Finally, switch out the legs for your desired look. Number four, add new shelves to your living room. Turn your old drawers into living room shelves for a fresh new look. Cut four pieces of 2x4 wood, each four inches tall. Place two pieces horizontally on the ground, then put the two drawers in between them. Drill three holes from inside the drawers to the wood outside and glue both together. Screw in the three holes to secure the supports. Repeat this process to attach the remaining two pieces of wood on the other side. Paint the whole unit white or any color you like, then lightly sand it for a distressed look. Number three, how to turn a flimsy IKEA calyx into a tough rustic shelf. First, assemble the unit as per the instructions. Cut 16 pieces of 1x4 knotty pine boards, each 13 1 16th inches long for the door fronts. Cut four of these pieces into 1x3x13 1 16th inches. Cut eight more 1x4s into 13 1 6th inch pieces to hold the door pieces together. Assemble the doors by aligning the four vertical pieces and attaching the two horizontal pieces with wood glue and nails. Distress the door fronts to your liking using a hammer and screwdriver, sand and stain them when done. Finally, add hinges and pulls to the doors and attach them to the shelving unit. Number two, the DIY custom wall cabinet in the living room from Tanja Van Hood Dallum. Choose your location, determine the size, and plan your layout over the weekend. Cut MDF to size, then layer with DecoFlex American Nuts. Once you paint or stain your boards, it's time to create the slat system, sliding horizontal boards into vertical ones. You'll have a beautiful wall-mounted shelving unit separating your living room and another area while keeping an open space vibe. Don't forget to decorate and add your personal touch. As we approach the end of our countdown, we want to remind you that our collection of home improvement ideas doesn't stop here. Simp Homes Content Collections offer a wealth of information on a variety of topics, including gardening, home improvement, finance, bathroom upgrades, bedroom updates, and much more. So if you're looking for even more inspiration for your next project, be sure to check out our other collections. And as we wrap up this countdown, let's take a look at our top pick with... Number 1. How to make a hidden charging shelf behind the sofa without making holes in the wall. It is the best trick to avoid wall sockets in the living room. Create a shelf or a freestanding shelf that is long enough to follow the length of your sofa back. Make it out of any wood material that suits your needs. One board is placed horizontally while the remaining three with shorter sizes are installed vertically as the legs. Screw or nail them in place, place and fit the shelf between the wall and the sofa. Make some holes in the shelf and install sockets there. When finished, you no longer need to drill holes in the wall behind the couch for wall sockets. For another benefit, you can also put some decorations on the shelf to beautify the room while keeping your walls clean. These are the 10 Furniture Transformation Project recommendations to beautify your living room. Please check out our other home decor tricks and suggestions in our videos and good luck. Well, that's it for now. Before you leave this presentation, we'd like to appreciate every second you spend watching this video. If we deserve more of your attention in the future, press the subscribe button if you haven't done so already. Like the video if you believe it'll motivate the YouTube algorithm to push the video to more people. Honestly, though, it is more like a myth to us, so feel free to move on with your plan after the video ends. Lastly, we hope you have great luck with your health and project, and we'll see you again soon.